I'm Jan van der Stoel, International Musical Therapist and welcome to this week's episode of Uncovering the Cover of Celebrities. This week I tackled the issue of racism with prominent Holman Devay star and Chinese actor Josh Krontart. Keep looking! Josh Krontart is an actor. He is a descendant of prominent Chinese Australian Mi Kwong Tart, who ran a popular tea house in the Queen Victoria Building in Sydney and was also an early Chinese ambassador in, to Australia. Tart's list of television credits include the role of Will Monk on Headland, but that got axed. He was Matt Horner. <laughs> Okay. He was Matt Horner on the Australian award-winning series All Saints, but then he left, and now he has a full-time role as Milko on Home and Vay. Hi, Josh. Hi, Jan. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Okay. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's really my pleasure. Um, my first question is, what is it like to play a milk product? Is it hard as an actor to play something that is not human? Uh... It's actually quite easy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. How do you get into that sort of character? I like going off every now and then. Going off? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah going oh. off. That's, that's yeah. great. That's, oh, that's, a, like that's a 20 to 30, you know, age group bracket. Yes, show, yes, it is. A lot of, I've heard that from people going off. Yeah. Um, being in the public eyes is stressful. I know that, even from my fairly short time being in front of the camera for these interviews, yes. often you say things in the press and it can come back and bite you. For example, the show headland was axed after only a few weeks, but before that happened you were quoted as saying, what is most important to me is to have fun yes. and being happy in a long running show. Yeah. And I get that from your <laughs> headland. <laughs> but in the end... We filmed it for a year. Before, oh, did you? Yeah, before it actually went to air. Well, and they didn't put most of it on. <laughs> they didn't put uh, hardly any of it. But the great oh. thing was we got paid to do the work, so it, it was it was fantastic. Um, we were under the illusion that it could have been a success, a, a, a huge hit. Yes. It never went to air until you know, uh, well, the year later. So it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. But I think um, ignorance was bliss in that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then of it course, yes. started. Headland became Deadland and... That oh, it. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those in-jokes. And if you don't <laughs> interview someone, you never hear those things. That's, <laughs> yeah. just, that's fantastic. I don't think I was the only one to say that. Oh, no? It was yeah. a going round. <laughs> no, it's kind of, I think it was the headline. In the, industri in the industry. <laughs> You yeah. are a funny man. I, I, I you should funny. do more comedy. Um, <laughs> so, my next question is, what is it like to be a... <laughs> what is it like to be a Chinese actor? Do you find you are always typecast as a cleaner? Or as someone... <laughs> To be a Chinese actor, do you find you are always typecast as a cleaner, or as someone who runs the laundry, or as? <laughs> 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 like to be a Chinese actor. Do you find you always typecast as a cleaner or as someone who does a laundry or as the nerdy computer guy with glasses? 
Uh, it, it's so far so good, Jen. Yes. Um, I went for a Miss Saigon audition and they're a little bit confused. I didn't get that. No. But that had nothing to do with the fact that um, my singing wasn't very good. Oh, no. But, I'm sure. Uh, so you I don't find it prejudice? No, no, I don't. I played a water clerk, but I don't think that has any... No, probably not. But a lot of Chinese say that there is a real prejudice yes. when they go for roles, that they always get cleaners and things like that. I'm happy to just get any role, to be quite frank. Well, I'm glad it's not appealing to you. <laughs> I, always, I always like to finish with a random question. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's a Naomi Robson hypothetical. You find your video illegally on YouTube. Do you have it removed or do you watch it a million times so you seem more popular? <laughs> I probably would have been the one putting it on there. Oh, the that wasn't even part of the question. <laughs> I know, that's why I can go to any interview and go, oh, I really went off in that one. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> Chinese actor Josh Kong Tart. G'day, I'm Josh Kong Tart, prominent Chinese soap star. I could never have got through the stereotype casting that applies to being a Chinese actor, to being an imaginary friend and milk product on award-winning, multi-award-winning soap, Home and Away, if it wasn't for my friend, Jan Vanistor. Jan, thank you. I am Jan Vanderstool, and it was lovely for you to have me.